you know, the reason we selected this venue as a uh, place to roll this report out is that everybody knows that uh, cap and trade would have a, uh, a negative impact on a lot of the large manufacturing concerns. Um, but I think the plight of the small business owner is one that is often overlooked. But small businesses really are what drive this economy. And uh, Pat Felder was kind enough to make this space available to mm -hmm. us. And I'd just like to give her a moment to talk a little bit about how cap and trade might impact her business. We own a, a collision repair business here in Baton Rouge. We have 25 employees and we've been here since 1988. I have a prepared statement that I would like to, to read to you and let you know how we feel and how strongly we feel about cap and trade. As we all know, small business carries the weight in our economy. Each time the cost of doing business is caused to increase through government mandates without any means of recouping these costs small businesses are directly impacted to a far greater extent than big, big business. We do not have the capacity to pick up and move offshore, which will undoubtedly happen and be the outcome should cap and trade pass. We have 15 trucks on the road. The cost of fuel has increased dramatically since 2005, but with another 26% increase as a result of cap and trade, our bottom line shrinks another $22,531 with no way to offset this reduction. And that is to say nothing of the 77% increase in natural gas that we use in our remanufacturing facility. We face putting our economy at a massive competitive disadvantage by this legislation. And small businesses are competing on an unlevel playing field as it is. I urge you to take the time to study this disastrous legislation. Call your legislators to vote no. Thank you very much. 